Precious. And I always just like, I wish I could just grab every single one of them in their face and just tell them how loved they are, how important they are, how they're capable of absolutely anything. Cara Delevingne is not okay, and not just her fans, but her family and close friends are extremely worried. Selena Gomes, in particular, seems very distraught about her dear friend's serious addiction problems, but how has she reacted to the news and what is she doing to save Cara from this dark hole? In case you didn't know Selena is not only Cara's co-star on their show, Only Murders in the Building, but they actually go way back and have been very close friends for years. So it's no wonder that Selena is panicking over Cara's serious issue. Now it's no secret that Cara has been struggling with substance use for years, and it's looking like things have spiraled way out of control for the Hollywood star. Carr's involvement with unsafe substances first started making round in 2013 when she was spotted dropping a white plastic packet of powder in front of her home which even led to her being fired from H&M at the time. Although Cara addressed the rumors by saying she was young and dumb, this would not be the last time we would hear of her substance problem. In recent times after a video of Cara circulating all over the internet showed her displaying erratic behavior outside an airport after being reportedly kicked out from Jay's private jet for being quote too high to fly. Fans grew increasingly worried as it was apparent that she might have delved too deeply. There were other instances that suggested that Kara was on something, like when she was hyperactive around Megan Thee Stallion during the Billboard's Music Awards, or when she was fidgety during her appearance on Jimmy Fallon's The Tonight Show where she stumbled over her words and had really shaky hands. But the one that really set people off was this particular incident at the airport where she looked very disheveled and was extremely jittery. She was stumbling around bare feet, smoking something, and playing with her dog all while being on a phone call with someone. From the video, it is clear that she was definitely out of her wits and not in a correct state of mind. According to reports, the airport incident took place after Kara allegedly partied for a few days at Burning Man with hardly anything to eat. Apparently one of her friends that was concerned told her that it would be in her best interests to seek help. They said, partying is one thing, but you're starting to let down your friends, colleagues, and business partners, and that's not like you. According to the source, the people surrounding Kara have been trying to help, but she is not letting them. The insider said that they are desperately trying to make her understand that it is not too late for her to get well. They're going on about how a long intensive stint in rehab would help get her back on track, but Kara played dumb. She keeps telling them, I don't know what you're talking about, I'm doing great. Another source had told The Sun that her family and friends are all incredibly worried. Apparently, the insider said that the situation has been building for a few weeks now, and Kara's family is involved. There is talk of staging some kind of intervention and making sure Kara gets the help she may well need. She has been burning the candle at both ends of late, and it's clearly taking its toll. Kara's concerning behavior came just days after she was spotted, looking washed out and smoking a pipe alum in her car, at this point, she wasn't even trying to hide it anymore. Last month, she was spotted standing on top of a vehicle while living it up on the party island of Ibiza with her friends Margot Robbie and Sienna Miller as she celebrated turning 30. The same Margot was spotted just a few days ago, looking very distraught and showing signs of distress several hours after leaving Kara's home. In the pictures released by the Daily Mail, Margot could be seen wiping away tears. And Poppy Delevingne, Kara's sister, was also said to have visited her house as well. But Margot is not the only friend of Kara who is super worried about her addiction and mental health, and fans are wondering how her other close friends have reacted to the news. Many are wondering how Selena, who has been close friends with Kara for over 10 years, is dealing with the situation and helping out. If you're curious to know why fans are expecting Selena to get involved, well, Kara and Selena's friendship can be traced all the way to 2010 when they were 15, and Kara modeled in the first ever photo shoot for Selena's youthful juniors clothing brand called Dream Out Loud. In an interview with USA Today, Kara narrated the incident, saying, We met on the side of a green, grassy hill running around in our clothing. We got on very well straight away and were bonding over music. We were just so young then. It's crazy. It was just very funny to be sitting and laughing about the fact that we have dogs and we're so old now, not really old, but we've just come so far. Then, in July 2014, the pair were first spotted hanging out when they took a trip to St. Tropes, France together for Selena's 22nd birthday. And the next day, after spending the day at sea, they got all dolled up to attend the Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation Gala in St. Tropez. Later that same year, in December, Selena and Kara spent Christmas together. Page 6 reported that they were spending the holidays together after they were spotted hanging out around Selena's hometown in Texas. 2015 seemed to be another big year for the friends as they both appeared in the music video for Taylor Swift's single Bad Blood as part of her 1989 album. And in August, they even attended the MTV VMAs with Taylor as Bad Blood, one video of the year. While posing with the group on the red carpet, Selena and Kara could be seen holding hands. Later that year, in October 2015, the pair of friends even sparked romance 
romance rumors to which Selena responded by saying, Honestly, I loved it and I didn't mind it, especially because they weren't talking about other people in my life for once, which was wonderful. Fast forward a few years to 2021, when their friendship only grew stronger. They attended a New York Knicks game together and were seated side by side at Madison Square Garden. At one point, the kiss cam was on them, and Selena gave Kara a playful peck on the cheek. After this incident, romance rumors about them started circulating again, especially after they got matching rose tattoos. Kara's design was a dripping rose with Roman numerals on her ribcage, and Selena's was on the back of her neck. Selena later went on to explain the meaning and reason behind the tattoo during an appearance on Live with Kelly and Ryan, saying, uh, We have a photo of a tattoo, a new tattoo apparently, that you got that has some significance yeah. to it. Wow. It's very prominent. Tell us about that. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Well, it's, you know, it, it means a couple of different things, but me and Cara, one of my uh, best friends I've known for, I mean, uh, I was maybe 16 when I met her and she calls me Rosebud. Uh, so it's a nickname and I've always wanted a rose and um, and now I, I got one um, and I love it. Later that same month, it was announced that Kara would be joining the cast of Selena's hit Hulu show, Only Murders in the Building, as her love interest in season two. They even shared a kiss, which further sparked more romance rumors. During E's web series, Kara opened up about working with Selena on the show and the kiss scene they shared. We never get to see each other as much because we're so busy, she said, so to be able to spend that much time with her and also to be able to work with her. She's just such an incredible person to work with, whether I know her or not. She is brilliant, like one of my favorite actors I've ever worked with. When she was asked about the kiss they shared, she replied, saying, it was just fun. Would anyone in the world not like to kiss Selena? She went on to say, it was so easy and safe, we already have that relationship in terms of comfortability. Selena also shared her sentiments during an interview with ET Canada in promotion of Only Murders in the Building Season 2, where she said, I, so it didn't feel like we were working. It was so much fun. We, I mean, we've known each other since we were about 15. So it was, um, it was just a blast. Yeah, we had we had a great time, and I felt like it was super organic, and she did fantastic. As you can see, the pair have quite a history together, and according to several sources, Selena is heartbroken over Kara's breakdown. According to insiders close to Selena, when Kara didn't show up at the 2022 Emmy Award, where she was supposed to join Selena and her other castmates of Only Murders in the Building, it made Selena really distressed and worried. Although Selena has not made any personal public statements, it is clear that she is very much involved. One of her best friends was spotted accompanying Kara, most likely to get the help she needs, for now. We just hope Kara pulls through to the end. Reacting to this one one fan said, It makes me sad that Kara is going through this. I hope she gets the help she deserves. I am so happy that Selena Gomes and Margot Robbie want what is best for Kara. And others were just glad that Kara had such a good support system. Selena is such a caring and kind person. I'm glad Kara has what seems to be a strong friendship with good people. I hope she recovers. But if you thought this video was interesting, you're definitely going to love this next one.